Um, just before I ask the team for their top tips, very, very brief top tips, please, um, I'd just like to summarise, because I've written down some, some great themes, and I think the issue is there aren't any secrets. It's all about you as individuals making your best decisions. Clearly, you'll have to. I mean, everybody's got different circumstances, and you'll just learn as you go, but there are no secrets, but there are some themes which I think shine through really loud and clear, and they've been really elegantly um, put forward. Awareness of self, prioritise, recognise that not everything is as important as it used to be in the new world. Get that balance and blend right, which I think is a really important point. Persevere, uh, you'll have to, but don't forget to ask for help if you're persevering and you're not succeeding. I love that idea about buddies, be they work buddies. I thought that was a really interesting idea about work buddies, but also buddies in your own network, your own personal environment and not shifting around so you can connect up with people in your local community because that's what communities are, they're there to help. Um, the one I particularly like is Mike Shorter emails as well because you've got less time. But I think there's some brilliant stuff there. With that, can I ask all of you to just give us one sort of top tip? There was one thing that you got. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, great. Remember. So um, I'm going to give a really countercultural one. Uh, so Karen talked about the importance of being honest. I'm going to tell you about the importance of lying. Um, <laughs> so, so, so I lied this morning. Uh, so I went to yoga this morning. Uh, it's very important to me. I love it. And, but I know I can't always go. I went to a 7.30 class, which meant I got up at 5.30, which was not great at home. And I said I went to an in I said I had an interview before this thing. So, uh, <laughs> just because I thought it was easier, I just really couldn't uh, get, to get into it. So, um, <laughs> but do, do, do find a moment for yourself. You know, 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 know what's there. And yes, I occasionally lie in order to <laughs> facilitate those moments. Emily. <laughs> so, um, I guess my, mine's probably Steve and Karen, so I apologise, but it's, it's building that network, you know, sort of when you can, go to the school, go to the nursery, make time for those people who you are going to call on, because you will, you absolutely will. Um, and, yeah, use, use that network and bank favours. If you've got, if you, can have, if you can have somebody over for a play date at a weekend, because that's when you're not at work, do it. That means somebody will then be able to take your child for a play date at another time when it works for you, and it's amazing the difference that makes. It gets you out so many holes. Vicky? Um, mine's really uh, short, which is just be kind to yourself. Like, I think we beat, our, beat ourselves up about things, and we try and manage it all, and it's not that easy. So, you know, if you are struggling, just take a moment, think about it, and just be nice to yourself. Um, other than the network, I, I honestly think you should bring yourself to work. Don't try and be different personas at home and in work. It's your blend. Don't try and be something else. Be authentic. Yeah, and that goes back to something I said at the beginning. You know all that stuff you've heard about work-life balance? Forget it. You've got one life. So forgive yourself. Don't feel guilty. Just get on and live it and have fun and be very real. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you all for coming.